Hello and welcome to my channel, I Win to Lose Gaming. In this, the thrill truth about the insert character here. The insert character here is Nouvellet. Here are 51 things to consider for Nouvellet's rerun. Nivellet is being rebrand in the second half of version 4.5, and since his release in version 4.1, Nivellet has taken the Genshin Impact community by storm with how ridiculously powerful his blue ball fueled laser cannon is. It's been a while since I've done one of these the brutal truth about insert character here videos, but what character is more fitting than Nivellet himself? But really quick, they're back and better than ever. It's today's sponsor, Tower Fantasy. Tower Fantasy is the ultimate anime-style free-to-play open-world MMORPG on both PC and mobile. And right now for version 3.7, Tower Fantasy has a collab with Evangelion. On March 28th, you get to LARP as the first ever fully qualified Evangelion pilot, Ray. Blast your enemies with a flurry of arrows as you play as one of the most iconic and confusing anime characters of all time. Dive into the thrilling new Simulacra missions as either Ray or Asuka to experience a new and unique story. I wasn't expecting Tower Fantasy waifus to be interacting with giant Evas, but but it's pretty awesome to see. Fight alongside the legendary Evangelion mechas in your very own Tower of Fantasy mecha to overcome the giant towering menacing angels. And don't miss out on Ray's stunning new Hot Couture, Future's Echo, available now from March 28th to April 3rd. Returning players will get the limited order reissue, which allows you to obtain the characters you've missed out on, a total of 14 available. And you'll get tons of additional rewards and summons from supply runs and the collab events. Now's the perfect time to hop back in and experience Tower Fantasy and Evangelion. Huge thanks to Tower Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. To jog your memory, this series of videos is where I go over every detail I can think of, including pros and cons, so you can have a better understanding of the character and whether or not he is the right choice for you. Starting with his normal left mouse basic attacks. While he looks pristine waving his much smaller wand around, it's not nearly as girthy as his laser cannon. And in this case, size does matter. His normal attacks scale off attack, so they hit like a soft noodle since Nouvellet scales off HP for the most part. And his normal attacks are mainly just used to apply Hydro for swirling or a quick reaction to fulfill his passive. Speaking of his passive, his talent provides him with the Yoamiya multiplier to his laser cannon. At Constellation Zero, Nuvalet needs three different Hydro Reactions to achieve three stacks of Draconic Glory to max out this Yoamiya Multiplier. The Yoamiya Multiplier is a unique multiplier that multiplies the base damage, but not additional flat damage, of an attack. At three stacks, Nuvalet deals 28% more damage than he would with two stacks of Draconic Glory. His other passive provides him free Hydro damage, up to 30% depending on how much HP he has, and his Exploration passive helps his team swim a bit faster. But before we get to his massive laser cannon, we need to talk about how we give Nuvalet blue balls. Besides delivering justice and judgment to sinners, Nuvalet can give himself three blue balls via hitting an enemy with his elemental skill. His skill deals most of its damage scaling off his HP, and his skill also deals a bit of Numa damage scaling off his attack and has decent range and reasonable AoE. It also generates 4 Hydro Particles and has a 12 second cooldown, and a fact I forgot about until just now is that one disadvantage is that it will not generate 3 blue balls unless you hit an enemy with it. But wait, we can give Nuvalet even more blue balls. His ultimate generates 6 blue balls regardless of whether or not it hits an enemy, and has a long 2 second casting animation. His ultimate's damage scales off his HP, and it has a substantial 70 energy cost with an 18 second cooldown. Despite his damage coming from his charged attacks, his burst is still important for his rotations in order to generate blue balls for his charged attack. Which is the perfect segue to talk about what makes this Dragon Man so incredibly powerful. It's his charged attack. Without blue balls, it takes a while for this old man to erect his laser cannon, around 4 seconds to finally blast his enemies with his giant blue rod. 
This laser cannon at constellations 0 through 5 lasts for 3 seconds and deals 8 instances of damage scaling off his HP. This is where his blue balls finally come into play. He can relieve up to 3 blue balls and absorb them to extremely quickly erect his laser cannon. By relieving his blue balls, Nuvolet recovers 16% of his health per blue ball relieved. And while he's shooting his laser, he drains his HP and will stop draining HP once he reaches 50% or less. This HP drain and healing enables him to quickly and reliably stack the Marichasi Hunter's massive 36% crit rate bonus. This also makes him very self-sustaining and not require any healing for himself. Nuvolet is able to move quite nimbly while operating his laser cannon, however at Constellation Zero he can still be interrupted while blasting his enemies with his laser cannon. There are a couple of techs to further optimize his laser cannon including releasing the left mouse button quickly to animate cancel the remaining charging animation after his laser is fully charged, if that makes sense. And he has the infamous spin to win tech which allows him to hit everything in a massive radius around him. Although you will generally lose a couple ticks of damage from his 3 second laser cannon when you use the spin to win tech. Now this unfortunately leads to needing some additional settings or tools to maximize his performance via the spin to win tech if that's something you care about. For example, I use a mouse with adjustable DPI to execute the spin to win tech. And mobile players have developed their methods as well. But do know that it is far from necessary to use the spin to win tech. Occasionally, blue balls will expire since they need to be relieved in 15 seconds or else their frustration just goes away and they disappear, leading to an awkward partially erect laser cannon which can mess up your timings. His blue balls can occasionally end up out of range from absorption. Still, his laser cannon is one of the most broken things in the game as it even has solid single target DPS and absolutely bonkers AoE DPS thanks to its insane hitbox along with the potential of utilizing the spin to win tech. His AoE is so good that he doesn't usually need an animal character to group spread out enemies. Nuvolet's laser cannon is also extremely unique and fun to use, and it's power fantasy done right. Frankly, I think his laser cannon is the best feeling laser cannon in any video game I've ever played. At free to play levels, at Constellation Zero with the Refinement 5 Prototype Amber, he deals around 40,000 damage per tick or around 1 million damage per rotation, which generally his rotations consists of 3 lasers. This is absolutely incredible given how easy he is to use. Speaking of rotations, his rotations are flexible since his blue balls do stay on the field, and he can swap on and off. He simply needs 3 different Hydro Reactions at Constellation Zero to max his Draconic Glory stacks. This allows for his teams to be quite flexible as well. Being exceptional in Hyper Carry teams, good in Hyper Boom teams, and having lots of flexibility with teammate selection. While he does have the weakness of being interrupted during his charge attack at Constellation Zero, this is easily mitigated when he's used with a thick shielder like Zhongli or even someone like Dea, so he does have accessible ways to work around his weakness. Unfortunately, he does really enjoy having Kazuo on his team, as that's one of the few characters that can meaningfully buff his damage at Constellation Zero. And finally, Nuvolet has some of the highest Abyss 12 usage rates since his release, and he has by far the highest usage rate for any main DPS character. Next, let's talk about how free-to-play friendly he is along with his constellations. No need to water it down, Nuvolet is an extremely free-to-play friendly character, dealing massive damage even at Constellation Zero with the craftable prototype Amber which also helps with his energy management. Farming the Marichasi Hunter is also very resin efficient since the Golden Troop set is great for even teammates of his like Furina or Fischl. Since other characters don't massively buff his damage at Constellation Zero, he is able to carry characters that are often regarded as pretty useless as long as they can add a Draconic stack for him. For example, you can even use a Constellation 4 Razor to trigger Electro Charged and to shred a bit of defense if you need your Fischl on the other side. Now unfortunately at Constellation Zero when he is paired with Furina, he ends up doing about the same amount of damage that he would without Furina despite her massive damage bonus buff. This is due to him only having 2 Draconic stacks versus 3 Draconic stacks. However, due to the Hydro Particles and Furina's own damage, it's still worth running her with him even at Constellation Zero. Now at Constellation 1 Nuvolet, well now Furina makes him an even more bonafide monster since he'll gain 28% more damage thanks to having 3 Draconic stacks. Constellation 
Constellation 1 can also make his rotations faster as well. For example, you can run Constellation 1 Nuvolet with Child, and literally never swap Child on. His Constellation 1 also provides him super armor, which is very nice for many fights, and is a DPS increase at times where you can drop Zhongli for another character. Nuvolet's signature weapon is also a massive damage upgrade for him, and of course, the ceiling for Nuvolet is absolutely insane. And since his debut, his Constellation 6 Refinement 5 power level has been drowning the competition and setting countless records and speedruns. So yeah, if you can't tell, Nuvolet is simply one of the best characters in Genshin Impact. His insane damage, insane hitbox, insane spin to win tech, and insane flexibility has earned him the title of the overall best DPS character in the game. I'm sure I've missed some details about him, so just leave those down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.